Welcome back to your Caribou Daily Sound Stream. Before we get started, I have a big favor to ask tonight. That's that you click that thumbs up button for me this evening, okay? Of course, as always, uh, this is simply for educational purposes only. Do not use what you see here to make financial decisions, okay? This, and this, is the, this is the close by month. You can see April took a big hit, but, but in May, it began to recover in July, was pretty much back up to its uh, to its high for the for the year to date so far. Okay, 100-day moving average. Good news is it's above the 100-day moving average. The bad news is it's taken a pretty big hit. Forder's taken a pretty big hit here in July. Okay, Bollinger Bands. It actually spiked above the plus two standard deviations, bounced down, then took a big hit here again in the, uh, the week of July 15th, and it continued. To move down here also. You can see a lot of volatility here also. Relative strength index, what they're saying? Well, these, these should have, they, maybe these were all sell signals here. I'm not quite sure. Hope, hopefully you did buy down here some and caught some of this upturn here, okay? But again, overbought here, dropped back down to the, about, the, about, the, about the halfway point. Okay, candlestick plots, what do we see? A lot of red, a lot of red sticks here, in meaning that the uh, price closed down. Oh, did I mention by uh, mention that uh, it'd be really great if you click that thumbs up button for me today, okay? Bar bar, bar plot, same thing. Lots of red sticks indicating uh, the numbers are closed. Look how look how far this dropped since July, okay? Let's look at some forecasts now. The uh, the ETS say, saying the price is going to hold steady for the next 40 days. Our next, our next 14 days, the basic arena is also saying the price is going to hold steady for the next 14 days. The adjusted arena says what? The price is actually going to is actually going to decrease over the next. It's it's predicting another continued downward trend for the next 14 days, drop below, but dropping it below about uh, say 9.5. Okay. Forecast is the Rima. Well, Rima is also on the sunny side of the street. It's also, it's predicting the number is going to trend back up here for the next 30 days. We'll see what happens. And we'll finish up with the uh, with the uh, dividend number here, by the way. So it's going to be, uh, that's, uh, what's interesting is there was no, apparently no dividend paid from the first quarter of 2021 to like the third quarter of, of 2020 or the fourth quarter of 2022 kind of interesting huh all right anyway before that you go again that big favor is what click that thumbs up button for me this evening okay and there you have it a quick analysis of ford motor company